All right, welcome to part three of working with the constant elasticity of scale utility function. At the end of the last video, we derived this indirect utility function, and Lewin asked a question on YouTube. How can we show that this indirect utility function is homogeneous of degree zero in budget and prices? And so what that means is if we were to multiply the budget and the prices by the same constant, it doesn't affect the outcome of this function at all. It would cancel. So what we need to do is bring in a constant here. Let's call this constant, say, D. And so if we multiplied the budget by D, say D might be 10 times or twice, uh, and we also multiply the price of X by D, so DPX and DPY, then what's going to have to happen is that D just cancels. So let's show that that would happen in this case. So let's just rewrite this. And so we're going to have DB over here. And then we're going to mostly be focusing on the inside of this function. So what I'm going to do is raise the D to the row over row minus one power here. I'm just going to bring it outside. So D to the row over row minus one. Price of X to the row over row minus one. Plus, do the same thing over here. Row minus one. Price of Y row over row minus one, and then one minus row over row. And so now what we want to do is we could collect those two D terms here. And so we're going to have D times the budget on the outside, and then we're going to have D to the row over row minus one times and then we'll have the price of X and the price of Y terms there. So price of X to the row over row minus one plus the price of Y times the row over row minus one. All that raised to the one minus row over row. Okay, and so now what we wanna do is see what happens when we take this term and we want to bring it outside the parentheses, we're going to have to raise it to one minus row over row. So let's just work on that part and see what happens when we raise it to that power. So D to the row over row minus one raised to the one minus row over row. Well, what's going to happen here is we see when we raise a power to a power, we multiply those exponents. And when we multiply, let's just write the exponents here just to be really clear that everybody sees what's going on here. Right? So we're multiplying those two fractional exponents together. We see that those two rows are going to cancel. And then we're left with one minus row over row minus one. Now, how can we simplify one minus row over row minus one? Does anybody see? Yeah, that is just equal to minus one. Now, why is that? Just in case you don't see that, we can always reverse the sign here. So suppose we want to reverse the sign of the one in the numerator. Well, what's minus one times one minus row? All right now you see it, I think, right? Well, minus one times one is just minus one. Minus one times minus row is plus row. And so hopefully you can see there how we can rewrite this, but then we're gonna have this minus one left over. Long story short, what we're going to have here is we have this db, d times the budget, and when we bring this d outside, it's going to end up being d to the minus one power, because when we collapse those powers together and we simplify it, we just get d to the minus one, 
and then we're still going to have all this stuff on the inside here right the price of x and the price of y row row minus one plus the price of y row row minus one to the one minus row of a row power and so of course this d and this d to the minus one power those are going to cancel each other and so this is how you can show that this indirect utility function is homogeneous of degree zero in prices and budget if you multiply both the prices and the budget by the same constant it does not affect the result of the function at all okay so i know that was a really quick little video here uh, but hopefully that'll help you see how you can do this kind of manipulation to show that something is homogeneous of degree zero if i skipped over something or if you have any further questions please let me know otherwise this is dr berkey signing out and i wish you the best of luck in all of your studies guys bye bye